Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on display card items. We will display card items and do the calculation of price, tax, and quantity. So let's start. First of all, I will define the route here. This route will be app dot route and then here I will give it the name just cards. Here should be slash and then I have to define this get card function inside this function. I will do first this check if we have a card then we will display the card items otherwise we will just do nothing. And here if and you can see this is our card I will just copy and paste it to be specific and if cart not in session then we will just return and redirect to the request dot refer and whatever the page he is maybe in a detail page or index page he will go there and else we will do here return render template and here we will render the template from products and I will create this cars.html and now I will come to here in product folder and create that html car.html inside product folder cards.html and here I will just print that session card and here is the shopping card and we can see so now if I go here in localhost 5000 and you can see we here we have uh, seven atoms if I click here we are going to nowhere because we didn't define route in HTML so I have to go in index and the inside the index here you can see we are here in card length here is the href I will come to here and just make this URL for underscore four and here we have to get that get card I guess this C was capital then if I come to here in my card items if I click it here you can see now these all are our card items and if I go to here work with incognito window see here new window I do localhost and here is the card is zero when I click we get nothing so we will go nowhere because the card is zero and uh, and here we are displaying these cards and now I will go to here in card and first of all I will do here extends that layout dot html and then I will do that block content block content and here I will just end that block content now what I have to do I will make here one container on the inside the container I will make the row and the inside this row I will make one table and the table I will give it a class of table and table sm then here will be t, t head and then here will be th of 8 I guess and we can see it later and here the number of items they like sr and then name and then color and then after color here will be price after price will be discount and then discount after subtotal and then update and then delete if you want to delete one item and then here I will make then T body and TR and TD of it as we did there after that I will start here one for loop after the body for product in session there was shopping shopping cart dot items and I will end this for loop after tr end for and first will be this loop dot loop dot index so now let's see 
and now if I go to here refresh you can see and this should be inside this block content I will just make this block content here so now you see here we have this seven atoms and now this is easy to do and here we have to put this product dot name and then product dot colors and uh, product dot price and then product dot discount and the, for the subtotal we have to do some calculation why this one is not working for products in shopping carts dot atom we have to do something like differently this will be key and product so we have to do and now you can see here this is our card items price and discount subtotal needs some kind of calculation and i will do here one href first with blank i'll make it the name of update and then here i will also a and this a will be for delete or remove i will give it the name of remove and this update should not be so now here you can see here is just we don't have the subtotal and for the subtotal and for the discount i will do something here for the discount also if product dot discount greater than zero and then else i will write here one td empty td don't need anything here and just i will come here in the f now you can see if we have the zero and we cannot see the zero and then i have to do the dollar sign here and percentage this is price now so now i will do the subtotal here and for the subtotal i have to do the percentage and then set subtotal equal to product dot price and product dot quantity and i will make it int so be int and the time i will make it to product dot price and this price is normally floating point and now here i will display the subtotal and subtotal if i open my browser and now refresh and you can see these all are the subtotals subtotal are coming now the thing is there so we have to now take out this percentage so what we have to do i will come here again make one variable this time i will make this variable here and i will do it set discount equal to percentage 0.2f and then here i will make it format then and the inside the format i will do also another for to give it purity and this one will be product dot discount and this one is divided by 100 and then i will come out and i multiply it with product dot price and uh, i will make this price to be also the floating point we didn't display the discount here here is the discount and if you like here you can display the discount now i will come here and display the discount discount is if i go to my browser and discount spelling is wrong and here is this and now should it work and you can see discount is this i will come here and make something here i will make it right unbreaking space i will give it a one non-breaking space so there will be space yeah now you can see and uh, we have to now minus this to this and we will get this one to the subtotal first of all for the subtotal i will give it uh, that percentage 0.2f and then i will give it this format and 
after the format first I will give this one then I will give it format here for mat and I will wrap subtotal with parenthesis and again I will give it here one parenthesis and then make it then bar sign then float and close this parenthesis here and I will give it minus discount so D is small and I will make this discount also float so now if I go to here in my browser and refresh and discount yeah this discount should have s here and now refresh again you can see here we have here 27 minus you can see this one is 150 and here is 123 see this is 550 and when we remove this one and this become 523 you can see here we don't have any discount if you go to here in your computer and open the calculator and you can calculate like this 550.5 minus 27.55 and now you hit the minus you can see this is the result 523.4 and here it's showing 2 because this one is showing 1 and the results is same we are done from here now i will now i will do for the quantity because we are not displaying quantities here and uh, colors are also not being displayed i don't know why maybe there was color or colors i just make it color or maybe this was a color yeah now you can see the colors are also displaying red black and black red silver and we are not getting that quantity and after price i will make one another td and inside this td we will get that quantity and uh, actually there should be one form and text we will do it in next video and now this i just display that product dot quantity quantity and uh, after price here yeah, i will do also quantity and then and this delete i will make it remove because they are we have below here the name of remove and now let's try if i go to here my web browser and you can see here we have a quantity of one 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 and five and here if you calculate the five you can see here we have uh, one thousand ninety nine point ninety nine and here you can see we have five thousand because we are using here we have the quantity of five open your calculator if you want you can calculate here we have uh, 1099.99 time 5 here you can see we have now 5499 and here is 5477 because you have 2% of discount and that becomes 22 if you minus 22 and then you will see the result is now 477 and here 5477 and 477 here you can see here you have 800.5 and here is 680 because of 120 is discount it's done from here now we have to display grand total and tax rate if there is some tax in your atom and uh, also for put one link go back to main page so let's do it for that i will first go to here in car.py because i will do that inside the car.py we'll start with four key and here product in session and the session uh, the session name is shopping card and uh, dot items and here i will start with first of discount discount equal to parenthesis I will give it like a purity from there product and here will be name of discount divided by 100 time time float with the product product price and now I will have here for that I will just put some here subtotal equal to zero and uh, grand total equal to 
0 and now I will do here subtotal plus equal to 2 float product price and I will multiply this one by int of product quantity now we will take out that discount we will minus the discount from subtotal subtotal minus equal to discount and then we will put that tax rate and we will put the tax and tax equal to parenthesis and uh, here I will give it percentage dot to F and then percentage and here I will make it 0 0.06 and I will multiply this by float of subtotal and then I have to do that grand total grand total equal to float and this one will be float of and float of percentage dot to f and percentage and inside the percentage here I will put it 1.06 multiply by subtotal and now I will pass this variable here first tax equal to tax and then grand total equal to grand total and now let's try first check if our, our program is running or not yes our program is running what I can do now I will come here card.html and after this for loop I will create one tr and inside tr I will give td table data of four and first one here I will leave it blank and second one I will give it I will give it one a tag and this be href equal to I will make it go back to home page and then here is the name will be continue continue shopping and second one believe will be tax here we have to give the name of tax I will give it one call span of three then let's see how it's working and this one I will give it call span of three also and here I will give it the name of grand total this will be also here grand total so now if I go to here in my browser refresh you can see this is our tax rate and this is grand total and I will make this grand total should come here and this tax rate it's okay here this should be call span of 4 and here I will give it one h3 I guess will be good I come back and bring that here and I will put this also in h3 so there should be inside this h3 now if I go here you can see this is the tax rate and h3 looks very big and it should be h4 I guess or h5 okay h4 is good now you can see this is grand total here if you want you can calculate and for me it's uh, fine and then you can calculate these because we are getting then and add this tax also I will just put the dollar sign so because our currency is in US dollar and you can see now here is and this should be colon not semicolon and you can see now this is gain total and this is subtotal and this is for the tax and if you click here you will go back to the main page and that's all for this video and next video we will work on remove item and clear card thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye